Hi, welcome to uh, Cargo Productions. Today we have professional boxer Jack Hanfield. How are you, mate? How's isolation going for you then? Yeah, it's all right. It's not too bad. I'm actually walking at the moment. I'm just walking down there. Uh, I, li I literally live down the road from the beach. I'm just walking down the, the, the promenade now. So, what are you? What are you most missing about life? Obviously, are you miss about being in the gym and stuff like that. What are you missing about your life? Yeah, you know what? The main thing is just the gym for me. Um, the gym, it's, it's hard work not being in the gym. I miss routine, so I'm a bit of a creature of habit. I like to have the same routine. I like to know what I'm doing day to day. And just being about the house all day, it's, it's just tedious. I want to get out and about and train and, and get to work and stuff like that. Yeah, so obviously we go talking about your boxing career and that. You've had some big fights, obviously. You fought Brian Rose, John Ryder and stuff like that. So... Just talk to me a little bit, a little bit about those fights that you've had in the past. Obviously, you've fought for belts and stuff like that, haven't you? Yeah, well, the, the John Ryder fight, um, I, I was at that stage in my career where I needed to push on. I've been on the small old shows for quite a while, and I just wanted to kind of push on and get something done. So, you know what, I called him out and a few of the lads on the, um, on the social media, and uh, John replied, or someone replied, and my manager ended up making that fight. Um, and like I say, John Ryder was the biggest fight in my career, so um, it, was a, it was a good scalp to have, really. Um, I think it was the hardest fight I've had, and I think it was the best performance I've, I've, I've given. And he's, I think he's called Matthew. I think John Ryder, the minute obviously he's four caps. That was a big, big, big performance for him, wasn't it? Oh, a brilliant performance. Like, it was a great fight, don't get me wrong. We were very close. I had it edging towards John Ryder, but... I might be biased because in my mind I thought, oh, he's going to beat Callum Smith and I'd be him. They might be away for me. But it was a very good fight. Um, but I, I do think John Ryder edged it and he's done unbelievably well. I mean, after I beat him, I think he, he worked his way back up to British title and then he lost against Rocky Fielding um, and then he's worked his way back up again to, to obviously getting in with Callum Smith for, um, for the WBA world title. Yeah, so obviously you've, you've been... You've... Your last fight was against Tommy Langford, wasn't it, back in 2018? So yeah. I think, I think you said, you told him before, like you were thinking from the side of what you yeah. obviously you change your mind and stuff like that, get going back into the game hopefully soon. You know what, I had a bit of time, I had some time out, I got myself in a bit of bother, um, which is no secret, I got myself in trouble, so um, I was forced out for a while, I'd be licensed, suspended, um, and I thought to myself, God, I'm out for nearly two years, Am I going to want to start boxing again? I'll be, I'm, I'm 31 tomorrow. Um, but, you know, I kept myself fit. I did um, a BKB fight in that down period. And uh, and then I, I just I thought to myself, I can't give up. I love it. I love the lifestyle. I, lo I love training. Um, and I love the sport. So, it's, um, it's I, like I was planning to retire, but it's just, like I say, it drags me back in. I love it too much to, to give up on it. Definitely, that most definitely. So, what would you say like your biggest achievement was while you during your boxing career? But obviously, you still want to go on a bit, don't you? But what would you say like obviously because you've had a break and that stuff now? What would you say your biggest achievement was so far? So, my biggest achievement is definitely winning the WBA against John Ryder. He was my biggest test, um, my biggest test in boxing. Um, I mean, Brian Rose was a good, was a was it wasn't a good fight, it wasn't an entertaining fight, but um. It's also a big name on my record, so I'd say any of them two fights were big names. Tommy Langford fight, I underperformed massively. Uh, I, I didn't box well, um, but I'd love to get to sort of British level again. But yeah. I'd say, definitely have to say that John Ryder, one hundred percent, is the biggest scout. Was was you supposed to fight in June this next month? Uh, yeah, so I, I, I had a combat fight scheduled for June sixth, I think it was. Um, that was on uh, Steve Woods VIP shows. And that was just going to be like a six or eight rounder, a decent, just blow the cobwebs off after a couple yeah, of years yeah. out of the ring. And then obviously try and, uh, try and press on and get another big fight, get back in the mix in them, in them top top five names. Yeah. Is, is that being cancelled now or is that... Is that it? Yeah, the, the show's been cancelled. All, all Steve's show was cancelled until further notice. Obviously, because they're small, all shows, they, yeah, they can't be funded. They can't... No one can afford to pay um, all them fighters if they've got no, no crowds there to to pull the revenue in. I can imagine you can't wait to get back on the ring again as well, obviously, because you've had a long time out and stuff like that. So, obviously, you're probably you're biting at the bit, aren't you? Know, I think, obviously, because I know forcing this situation to happen. You can't wait to get back on the ring again. I actually can't wait, mate. It's like, it, it's frustrating. It, it, this, um, the pandemic, it's, it's, it's falling at the wrong time. There's never a right time for it, but 
uh, on a personal level, it's definitely fallen the wrong time for me because I've just come off a big ban and just looking to get back fighting again. And then this has happened, so potentially yeah. could be not. I might not fight potentially this year um, if the small law shows don't come back on. I, there's a chance I get a big fight come off because I've got a pretty good record, and people might overlook me thinking I'm past it. I'm over the hill. I'm only doing it for money, whatever they might think. Yeah. So I could get an opportunity to come up, come around, which would be absolutely great to get on one of these shows, these televised shows. Um, so I, I'm hoping to get out soon, as I'm, I'm really missing the sport now. So just a, just a final question that I've asked everyone who I've interviewed now. I was saying, if, if, if like you were stuck on an island, and one boxer with you and one person lighting with you, what would you, who would you take and, who, and what would you take? Sorry, I can't hear you say that again. Yeah, so if you're stuck on the island and you, you have to take one boxer with you, one other boxer with you, one person lighting with you, what would you say? You know what? I'd take Mark Jeffers with me um, and I'd take Mark Jeffers and I'd take a phone to publicise what he puts on Instagram because he's, he's, he's a bit of a funny guy at the moment. He's, uh, he's entertaining for everyone, so well, yeah, that's the I, I'd take it. I'd, I appreciate you coming on and talking to me anyway, and um, I hope you get back out there as soon as possible. Hopefully, I might be able to come down and film a few bits for you. Yes, but on any time you want to come down, mate, you're more than welcome.